Hello everyone, I'm Dex here and welcome to another Guild Wars 2 video guide. This time around I'm going to show you how you can get the puzzle jumping achievement for Demon Grab um, Demon Grab Pits that you can find in Queensdale. That's the human starting area. So right now I'm standing right here, you can see my entrails from previously exploring the cave. Uh, the fastest way to get here, in my opinion, would probably be teleporting to this waypoint, the Tan Watch Redoubt waypoint, and walking your way down here. Now, right now, I'm sitting on this small hill right here, and I'm headed towards here. So I'm gonna skip those uh, Tamini warriors, they're not too much of a problem for me, I don't really care about them that much. Um, you need to be at least level 12 to do this, I think, because you're going to need to fight some enemies on your way, but it's not a must. Alright, so the next part, the following part from here, um, is quite uh, is not a must, but it gives you an additional chest in addition to the, the reward chest itself for the um, achievement. So instead, fr from this ledge right here, the actual achievement starts from going over there. But instead of doing this, you're gonna go to jump to this platform where I just jumped. And jump this here again, and again, and again. And as you can see, right there, there is a chest. I actually already opened it, so you can't access it. But it might be a little bit hidden uh, if you can't see it. So by default, if you're holding control, um, anything that you can interact with shows up. So that chest, uh, you'll see its name. So you fight those three spiders, and the moment you get closer, you get a veteran spider as well to fight. So I'm going to get back to the original starting position of the achievement, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back to the same ledge where you start from. So instead of jumping over there to the uh, chest, I'm going to jump here to the right, and I'm actually going to use a speed mechanic, uh, which I suggest you to use as well because this jump may be a little bit tricky if you do it wrong and jumping, falling down isn't that painful you simply take a small trip right here and you get back to the same spot but there is no need to do this more than once so take this jump as well here there are some cave bats, you can ignore them all together and make those jumps they're not that hard uh, without any speed buffs so shouldn't worry you too much Alright, so at this point, there there is this small platform here with all those enemies, but we're not interested in them. We're interested in these uh, jumping platforms. Take those jumps carefully, and you don't want to fall down here. Again, not a big deal, but no need to do anything more than once. Alright, so once you reach this, this point, you're going to have few enemies here, which I'm actually going to fight this time, because... I'm gonna need to advance to the following room where there are more enemies there, including some veteran enemies. And even though uh, these are lower level enemies, remember that if you're even higher level, you always scale down to the appropriate level of the area. So there is no easy way around it. And you're gonna need to find to fight those veterans in order to get to the reward chest. So get over to this small passage in the wall. And ignore the grubs, they are not too um, important. And right here is basically the reward room. As you can see, there are two veterans in the chest and uh, in the room, and the reward chest itself. So I suggest you to take them one by one, unless you're here with friends, which will make them obviously easier. Um, don't be a hero, don't try to take them two at once, you're probably won't make it unless you are heavily geared and let me finish this one and I'm gonna advance to the next one and basically the moment you kill them both and you open the chest you finish the achievement and get your reward so that's it that unlike other um, achievements this one is quite easy and also quite lower level demanding, it doesn't require it to be higher level, but on the other hand, you have to fight two veterans to get a reward chest. It will be quite hard uh, to disable the, both of them and jump for the reward chest, so bear that in mind. 
And that's it. Once you stand next to the chest and activate it, you gain the achievement. And if you really want to, there is actually a faster way out to the nearby uh, center camp. If you don't want to use a waypoint, simply take this small jumping platforms thingy route and take the small tunnel here and you're back outside to the center camp. So that's it. I hope you guys find this guide useful and see you next time.